Hi, I'm Lauren Lucille Vassar, and I have an online show called The Celiac Diva, where it's a talk show that I bring you all the dish on all things gluten-free, and I've been gluten-free since March 18th, 2010, and today I'm really excited for the series I'm going to be representing you, the viewer, who lives gluten-free, and we're going to be asking the expert, and all about it. Hi, I'm Ann Roland Lee, the dietitian for Char USA, and I've been working in the world of gluten-free and celiac research for a number of years, so I'm happy to be your resource lady. Woo! I know. <laughs> so far, what we've done in this series is we've actually talked about what's gluten-free, what's not, kind of showed you how to clean up your kitchen to make it safe gluten-free. Mm -hmm. Then we had a great shopping trip, picked up all Super kinds of fun. all kinds of great gluten-free products, naturally gluten-free and rendered gluten-free. Now we're back home, so now we're gonna talk about how to set up your kitchen to keep it gluten-free, empower the family, make it safe, make it fun. Now, one of the first things we need to realize is, remember all those things we took out of the cupboard that were wheat-based? Okay, if you're lucky enough to be in a household that's all gluten-free, that can just be pitched. You can send it to one of your neighbors that still eats gluten. Mm -hmm. If, however, you're like most of us, where you have people that are eating gluten, as mm -hmm. well as people who are eating gluten-free, in the same house, we need to kind of come up with another strategy. Absolutely. We need to handle those gluten-containing products very carefully. The area of cross-contamination is something we need to be very aware of. Even crumbs from gluten-containing products can cause a lot of damage in the intestine and a lot of symptoms. So what do we do? We can either keep them separate and keep them on a separate cupboard or all together separated out. Right. Or as many people don't have that much luxury and room in their kitchen, we need to put them in and integrate them into the, into the cupboard. Mm -hmm. But we're going to keep them all together on the same shelf and we're going to put them on the bottom shelf. Okay. Why the bottom? Well, I think the bottom shelf because if you have gluten containing products on the top, the crumbs could come everywhere, attack your gluten free product, and then you get sick. Let's now stock our gluten free items in there. I know. All right, so we're putting them on top. We're putting them on top, and the idea here is to match the same product type cookies to cookies, crackers to crackers, so that the members of the household can easily find their products that they're used to. If they're used to grabbing a snack, they know where to go. Right. Now, for most adults, this is pretty easy. You can easily see the things that are gluten-free and the mm -hmm. things that are gluten-containing. But let's think about those little ones again, okay? Take markers, stickers, their favorite character, yeah. and plaster them all over the products that are safe for them to have. Okay. The other option, I'm going to happy know. face these vanilla wafers right there. Okay. Oh, so but cute. the idea is that it's an easy way for a child to identify it. Absolutely. Okay, a little bit older child may get some fun out of being nice big X's on things Let's that are gluten containing. Let's do it. Ball, ball. <laughs> the important thing is to make the cupboard work for you and your family. You want to keep things separate, you want to keep it all very safe but it has to be something that empowers the family to do this. Be creative. Be creative, it can be fun. Absolutely. It also teaches the kids great tools that they can then take to school and beyond Absolutely. that will help them make the right choices. I love that. Now, that's the cupboard. You ready for the fridge? I'm so ready. Let's, Let's go. Good news is here, not much changes. As we saw before, most of the contents in the fridge are naturally gluten-free. But what we did is we kept that same consistent color coding to make life easy for this family. So our red lines are all the things that are gluten free. As you notice, the gluten containing things are separated down below just so it's easy to identify. We also kept those jars that, ha that were double dippers right. and put them in their own place too. Right. We don't need to necessarily throw them out, but we do need to keep them away from the other gluten free items. So fridge in a nutshell. I love it. Okay, Anne, those are wonderful tips. Thanks so much for sharing all that. With My us. pleasure.